Kissing is an amazing experience, so much so that most people can remember the details of their first kiss with a high degree of accuracy. Not only is kissing a part of the human lovemaking process and has been so for a long time, but research also suggests that mouth-to-mouth -mouth kissing is a common occurrence in more than 90% of cultures across the world. Humans pucker up for all kinds of reasons. We kiss for love, for luck, to say hello and goodbye. There's also the whole it feels so good thing. And when you stop and think about the act of kissing, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Pressing your lips against someone else and, in some cases, swapping saliva? It turns out there's some science behind this strange but enjoyable behavior. There are many theories about how kissing originated and why we do it. Some scientists believe that kissing is a learned behavior since roughly 10% of humans don't kiss at all and considerably fewer trusted source kiss with romantic or sexual intent. Others believe kissing is instinctual and rooted in biology. However, today we're going to explore a few psychological reasons, as well as some benefits, associated with kissing. Number six, people kiss to determine mates. As per studies, people kiss to determine their mates for future relationships. Kissing a person passes on a lot of information about their hormonal profile, as well as their health. This assists individuals in making decisions about the nature of their relationship with the person that they're kissing, going forward. So if you're going to go in for a kiss, best make sure that you taste and smell good. A good kissing experience can go a long way. Number five, being good at kissing can make you more attractive. If research is to be believed, Kissing can have a significant impact on how attractive people find each other. Someone who kisses well might be perceived as being more attractive immediately after the kiss by their partner. The increase in attraction could very well segue into a higher degree of romantic involvement. On the other hand, being bad at kissing could affect all these factors negatively. Kissing is more important than you think. Number four. Kissing aids in the longevity of relationships. An important key to having long, happy relationships is both partners being satisfied with their physical intimacy. But how much does kissing help? According to research, couples that kiss and cuddle frequently are a lot happier in their relationships, as opposed to those that don't kiss and cuddle often. Such individuals were also said to feel more comfortable and compatible with their partners, aiding in the longevity of their relationships. Number three, kissing lowers. Allergic symptoms. If you have allergies and experience allergic symptoms, kissing might help you out. According to a research paper, partners kissing each other for 30 minutes were shown to have experienced a decrease in allergen-specific IgE production, thus aiding in the alleviation of allergic symptoms. So, if you're allergic to something, go ahead and give kissing a try, you just might end up being surprised with the results. Number two, kissing reduces stress. Kissing does relieve stress, doesn't it? You tend to feel better and happier after a kiss, putting most of your worries and problems at bay. If Hollywood's depictions of kissing are anything to go by, kissing, even in the tensest of situations, is often the best idea. But what does science have to say about this? A study conducted in 2009 demonstrated that kissing leads to stress-ameliorating physiological effects and also aided in reducing the occurrence of depression in healthy adults by lowering cortisol levels. If you're feeling sad, stressed, or depressed, kiss more often. It will make you feel significantly better and you'll be able to deal with your situation a lot more effectively. Number one. Kissing can help. Boost immunity against certain diseases. Despite it being a highly effective way of exchanging bacteria and passing germs onto each other, some studies have shown the effects of kissing on boosting immunity against certain diseases. It's important to assert, however, that kissing as an activity should only be carried out among healthy adults who are at no risk of transmitting diseases to each other. 
Kissing is a wholesome and highly romantic experience and should not be the source of grief for anyone involved. Take care of your oral hygiene, sharpen your kissing skills, and you'll be surprised at how far just those two things might end up taking you in your relationship. There's nothing better than a good kiss between two individuals attracted to each other, so make sure that you make every last one of those smooches count. With all these benefits associated with kissing, one has to stop and wonder why people don't do it more often. Perhaps, after watching this video, they will. So, what do you think about today's content? If you think you have learned important things, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to continue our wonderful journey.